Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Binding Blade. I am recording this immediately after the end of that map, which is why you can still see the save option. We are about to get into the final map of the game. So, first of all, let me just say, you know, thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Final, Beyond the Darkness. Well, it will come up now. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> Finale, Beyond the Darkness. <laughs> You're the Dark Priestess, the Demon Dragon. Why do you block my path? What? I have been instructed to lead this world. I will bring peace. Why do you bar my path? You're wrong. Peace at the cost of humanity is hardly any kind of peace at all. The man who ordered you is gone. You can stop. You have no reason to fight. None of us have reason to fight. I feel that eons ago I heard those same words. Soft words like a warm breeze. But that was long ago. I have slumbered for far too long. In the darkness I dreamed. An empty dream. Black. Colorless. But I am awoken now. His majesty willed it so. His majesty. Zephyl. I am awoken. I have left the darkness of my dreams. My path is now lit. I know what I must do. I will lead this world. No matter how much time must pass, that is my duty. You insist on fighting us? As long as you stand in my way. Your will seems unbreakable. My will is his majesty's. I awoke for the purpose of fulfilling his desires. Damn! Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have to fight? We finally made it. Lord Roy, Lord Elliwood, thank you for everything. Father, watch over us. I will not lose. You can do this, Wendy. Just trust in yourself. I'll focus all of my strength into this one strike! Fascinating. Now, shall we? This is the end. We've come too far to lose now. Now's the time of truth. I have the blade of Hartmut, who took pity on you and spared your life. Everyone, leave the final blow to me. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final map. This looks like nothing, uh, but dragons will be spawning in. There's a specifically a war dragon now. Level 19 Maniki. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous indeed. But let's see Eden. Eden! Level 20. 78 HP. A maximum defense. 29 strength. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be a pain to deal with. Roy said he wanted to hit the final hit. I'm gonna try and do that, but it depends on what he can do. I don't think she. Uh, yeah, she only has one range as well. So even though she might be able to move in this range, unless her movement's just two? I don't know. I feel like this means that she can move this range. So I'll consider that. Let's deal with these dragons first though, shall we? Let's see. Who do I want to put in range of these dragons? Well, Roy has to come here, because Roy has to, like, move in ASAP. Uh, we'll put Faye, uh, actually, we'll put Faye up against one on this side. And I'll put Lilina up against one on the other. This allows Sol to come over here to immediately heal Lilina. Allows Zeiss to just be ready to move. Allows Tate to just be ready to move. Sin. Lance can come here. And Corrine. Let's go. 28. Lilina does not actually one-shot this dragon anymore. So these are basically, uh, mini-boss genres. Except they can actually be hit, so... Okay, I'm skipping past that. Sorry, the animation is long. Um, that's the only time I'm gonna skip through it, though. I'm gonna try and keep my hand off that button the whole time. So you're gonna come and attack Faye. Faye. 
22 damage. Faye definitely needs to be healed after this, but we can m keep moving even if Faye can't keep moving. Uh, nice. Okay. None other spawned, which worries me. We'll put Faye here. Attack again, because she can actually kill. So her low health doesn't really matter too much. And then we'll just make a rush for it. Because I know that I like. There's no way that War Dragons aren't gonna keep spawning in. You know, that'd be really dumb if they didn't. Level 10, HP, Strength, Skill, Luck, and Resistance. To be fair, these final level ups don't really matter too much. But, you know, it's nice to at least read them all. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? Soul. Use it. Why not? May as well. Even though only two people took damage, you may as well feel the joy of using the Saint Staff, at least. <laughs> Zeiss. God. Sin. Tate. Chlorine. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing this. Right here, right now. Roy can just run right up to her. So can Lilina. Lilina doesn't even actually kill her with four blaze. Wait, hold on. Interesting. The legendary weapons don't affect Eden. Only the binding blade does. Very interesting indeed. Well, we may as well see her come in. Yo! Yo! Okay. That's dank. That's dank as fuck. Oh, listen to that music, too. Ooh. Okay. Lance. I mean, you have a hand axe, right? Even though it doesn't do anything, you may as well try and attack him. Let's just get past it, because we know it will do nothing. That's That was just for the... That was just for the giggles. Roy. It's all up to you. If you get this crit... It will be so poetic. Please, Roy. At least in the second hit. Okay. Okay. Just immediately grabs me. Oh, it would have been so cool if he got the crit. Oh, well. I... 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 I am alone in the dark. I am alone in darkness. See you, slut! Bye, bitch. I was right in saying that, uh, you know, final bosses aren't really that difficult to take down. Uh, kind of sucks, but what can you do? It's a Fire Emblem game. The main weapon that the that the guy has, that your boy has, is literally made to take down the final boss. So, what can you do? But either which way, we are done. We are done. We finished the game. Oh, saw, dude. Ah. Oh no. Sanctuary is collapsing. Everyone, hurry outside. Boy, I'll be fine. Now go. What are you doing, you absolute fool? And I'm dead. I like how Mullinus is waiting outside as well. What, well, Roy? You're unharmed. Yes, but the sanctuary is gone. It's over a thousand years old. A great deal of energy was released in the battle we fought. The foundations probably couldn't withstand the pressure. Yes. Today marks the beginning of a new era. Who is that you're carrying on your back? Oh, yes. Rolinus, I need to ask a favor of you. And thus, the war known as the Disturbance of Burn was resolved. Following Burn's surrender, its government was dismantled with the indirect support of the Kingdom of Etruria. Ba -da -ba -ba, -ba -ba. With Roy's help, Guinevere inherited the throne and the new Kingdom of Bern was formally established. 
the new kingdom of bone why not just it's still bone so what's the point new kingdom of bone and on the day of her ascension dot 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 she died <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, ah, yes, everyone's happy and fine, and then Guinevere gets assassinated and it starts all over again. Today is Princess Guinevere's crowning ceremony. I haven't seen her in her royal garments yet, but I'm sure she is beautiful beyond description. Even at our first meeting, I had no words to describe her sheer beauty. Truly. But she still has many struggles still to come. What do you mean? After she is crowned Queen of Burn, even with Etruria's support, I'm certain there will be great unrest and plots to overthrow her. Do you think so? Some may claim that she only joined Etruria to seize the throne. It's an unfortunate reality, but to the ignorant, that is how it will appear. But I'm sure she will be fine. Under her rule, Burn will prosper like never before. She's too brilliant and strong to succumb to petty unrest. Yes, I agree. What about you? What will you do now? Me? I will return to Foray concerned about my father's illness, and there is much reconstruction to be done. Um, I... What if we... What? Uh, never mind. But you're returning to Foray. That's good. What about you? Will you go back to Ostia? Yes. I must take my father's place. I'm glad you're staying in Ostia. Why do you say that? Because if you're in Ostia, then we can see, another... then we can see one another any time. What? Well, Lilina, I don't know when, but someday I'll come for you. I... I have to prepare, too. But, Roy, I've always... Oh! <laughs> Ceremony starting. Come, Lilina. Let's see Princess... No, Queen Guinevere. As the start of her reign as Queen. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... I've always... Wait, what? Roy, wait for me! <laughs> God damn it. I mean, I knew, but come on. Later, in Arcadia... <laughs> Ah, Lord Roy, it has been far too long. I was in the area, so I decided to stop by. Faye will be glad to see you. I saw her earlier. She's even more energetic than I remember. We have allowed her outside more since her return. Perhaps that is why. How is Eden doing? We succeeded in restoring her soul, and yet... She's not back to normal? Faye sometimes takes her outside, but she will do nothing without first being told to. I see. Lord Roy... We had known for long that she had been captured by the dragons. I feared the consequences of leaving the village, however, so I forbade any effort to rescue her. Now, though, I wonder whether my judgment was correct. Perhaps the humans are changing the way I think. I'll do my best to restore Eden's heart and soul. You have my gratitude. As a first step, I want to see her express some form of emotion. It'd be a good sign if she could laugh. Hey, out in the desert that we got, Faye. This map was a pain. And that is called a tree. Tree. Right. And this tree has tasty fruit. Fruit? Yeah. Can you see it? It's up at the top. And if you shake the tree like this... Ow! <laughs> it fell on my head. <laughs> Eden, did you just laugh? Laugh? This is a laugh? Where's Roy? <laughs> I have to tell Roy that you laughed! Oh, It's cute as fuck. I like- I like how Eden's clothing is, um, Dark Mage clothes, actually. Just a, a warm breeze. But yeah, Eden's clothing there is, uh, Dark Mage clothing. But that is it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished. Um, I will say, if you don't kill her with the Binding Blade, you don't get this, like, happy ending for her. But, let's be honest here, if you don't kill her with the Binding Blade, what's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> it basically kills her immediately. Um, so, pardon me, what are my thoughts on this game? So, I have now played Binding Blade, Blazing Sword, Awakening, Fates, Shadows of Valentia. I think that's it. I don't know. The heroes who saved to leave. Uh, there's gonna be like little things that pop up. We might actually be these. Roy returned home to rebuild the lands in Lycia that were ravaged by the war. He was always popular with the people and was well remembered long after his tenure as Marquess Ferret. Uh, this game is odd. I feel like the characters didn't have 
a lot of character, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, in the supports, the supports we got were really nice and cute. Um, but in the story, Roy kind of got nerfed. Like, I feel really bad for Roy. Oh, hey, Faye. After returning to Nabata, Faye was never heard from again. Many historians are skeptical that she even existed. Damn. Um, but yeah. It kind of sucks because, uh, you know, Roy being the main lord and all, he doesn't have that much character compared to Elliewood or Robin or Crom. He's not my least favorite lord, because that goes to Corrin, but he's definitely down there, even though he is a really good unit when, when he actually promotes. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think. I think I prefer Blazing Sword to this. But these guys do, like, these units are really good units. After returning to Sakai, Shin joined his newly reunited clan. He was never a talkative one, but with his leadership and skill with the bow, became known as the new Silver Wolf. Dang. Um. Hmm. I don't know, I guess it goes Shadows of Valentia. Awakening. Blazing Sword, Binding Blade, Fates. Like, Fates overall as a game is, like, not great to me. Um, but, you know. Like, okay. If we split, if we split Fates into, like, Birthright Revelation Conquest. Oh. After returning to Foray with Roy, Lance helped his lord rebuild the Ravaged Land. Never losing his cool, he helped lead Foray to prosperity again. Uh, but yeah. If we do, if we split Revelation Conquest Fates, it goes Shadows of Valentia. Awakening, Conquest, Blazing Sword, ah, uh, no, actually, Birthright, Blazing Sword, Conquest, Binding Blade, Revelation. Hmm. Something tells me that's still wrong, I'll, I'll figure it out at one point. But, yeah, this was a fun, like, this was a fun time. Um, its maps weren't bad, there were a few piss takes, but what can you do? After returning home, Lilina became the new Marquess of Ostia. Shortly after was read to Roy. Together, Roy and Lilina united Lycia to create the prosperous and peaceful kingdom of Lycia. Aww, how cute. Uh, yeah. The maps weren't bad. There were a few that were just annoying. But they weren't, like, none of the maps were necessarily like, oh, this is just bad map design. The maps were all designed really well. Just some of them are bullshit. Tate returned to Ilya, where she worked to reunite the divided Pegasus Knights. I don't know why I said it like that. Her diligent work and leadership paid off. The Pegasus Knights regained their former glory. Good job, Tate. I wonder if it's going to go through all the characters, even the ones that didn't die. Because I know it goes through the ones who did die. Who I've realized now, um, when I was going back through the people who died, I forgot that Lalem died. <laughs> um... <laughs> Because I, I sacrificed her to get Percival. It was worth it. <laughs> Wendy continued her life as a knight. She was idolized by many and remembered as the first female captain in the Ostian army. I don't think anybody's losses have gone up to three yet. Which is good. Because basically, if, it, if that said three losses, that usually means that person should have been dead. Um, which I think if Roy had two losses, that means he... Did we only game over twice? The whole time? That sounds wrong. I know we, we game overed in chapter 23. Huh. Zeiss aided Guinevere in rebuilding Birth. As he rose in rank, he was criticized for allying with Etruria, but his firm loyalty to Guinevere earned him the respect of his peers. Good job, Zeiss. Um... Yeah. I feel like losses do mean, like, deaths. So... Yeah, Lalem died, Rutger died, and Dorothy died. And Ray at the end. Ray died as well. Um, so did Deacon Chad. Like, technically dead. So... We lost six units overall. I th yeah, six units overall. I don't remember how many we lost in Blazing Sword, I think it was five? So, oh well. 
Although the church offered him the position of bishop, Saul turned it down and chose to serve the people in his own way. His behavior always led to difficult situations. Good job. Um, but yeah. This game is harder than Blazing Sword, like, overall. Um, I feel like I kind of, you know, cheated the system because I used the arenas quite a bit. Uh, but this is a definitely harder game. Which I do like, I do like how hard it is, but... Considering the whole game as a whole, like, there's not much... Like, I basically got characters and went, okay, this one is good, and kept them. Clarine returned home to Aquilia and lived her life as she did before the war. Her personality never changed, but her charm earned her the admiration of her peers and a true nobility. Good job. But yeah, like, thinking about it, what? Um, the characters in Blazing Sword, to me, are better. The gameplay in this is better, like the, the, um, like the maps and going through them. The only issue I have with this game is that it's all C's, and I don't like that. Oh, hey, that's cute. I guess you wouldn't have got that unless you got all three sisters and it survived. That's a cute picture. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that this is all C's maps, maybe it would have been higher? Masahiro Sakurai and the staff of Super Smash Bros. Melee. That was put in. That was put in by the translators. Oh! Thank you, by the way, uh, to the translators, who I think are on Serenus Forest? I'm gonna put the translation patch back into the description, because I realized it was missing the whole time. That's a cool ass picture as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you to the translators for actually translating this game so that I could play it and understand it. Um... The next Fire Emblem game I'm gonna be doing is Sacred Stones, um, and I might kind of rush through that because I really want to get to um, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, but through the completely legal methods that I have to play those games, they're apparently kind of iffy like on the completely legal ways I can play those games. So that's the crowning of Princess Guinevere, I think. I don't know who, what else it could be. Uh, but yeah. So, Sacred Stones is the next Fire Emblem game I'm playing, but that's not gonna be for a while, because, um, first I gotta finish Hollow Knight. That's gonna be, like, what I spend the next however long doing. Oh, uh, we get to see how long it took as well. Uh, but yeah. All the things that are, like, over 100 tons, grinding. For example, Chapter 7. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, Fall Hollow Knight comes first, uh, then I've got two other games I want to play before I go through uh, Sacred Stones, but they'll be played, like, against each other like this and Hollow Knight was supposed to be. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We did it. We completed the game. I'm now trying to think, hold on, am I, am I correct in saying... I know that- I know Fire Emblem Echoes is my favorite. Then Awakening, for sure. Then Birthright. Hmm. Let's see, Birthright. I think maybe this. Then Conquest. Then... Yeah, Birthright, then Binding Blade. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But just, just, I'm trying to figure this out now. Um, so... Shadows of Valentia, Fire Emblem 15. That's my favorite, that's my favorite Fire Emblem game so far. Then Awakening. Then Birthright. Then Blazing Sword. Then Binding Blade, then Conquest, then... Revelation. I think that makes sense. I feel bad because, like, I don't hate Conquest, but I do absolutely hate Revelation. But Fates overall is, like, not good. But this was fun. This was a good time. Uh, funds, combat, EXP, and power were all A, but survival and tactics were D. Um, considering we lost six units, and considering we spent a whole lot of turns, yeah, that makes sense. But we're done. I think that's it. Right? It will just- oh, oh, oh! Chapter 23, Fallen. Wade, how to develop the Western Isles. Good job. I guess this is going through everyone. Yep, Geese. Reopened his trade routes. Because he was a- 
pirate. Return to the Western Isles. Good job, Gonzalez. I'm happy for you. <laughs> he had 69 wins. I'm a child. Fur continued her training and became the new sword state. Helped Guinevere rebuild Burn. I'm sorry I didn't bring you, Melody. You were so good, and I loved you. But damn. Uh, Shana returned home and was knighted. A green returns to Nevada. So who's my favorite character in this game, actually? I should probably be talking about that. Um, Saul is definitely a good character. Uh, Chad worked to help orphans. Deke continued his mercenary life. Ooh, I think overall, even though I didn't get a lot of supports, I know I didn't get a lot of supports in this game, helped rebuild Foray. Hugh continued his studies in magic. I think my favorite character might be between Melody and Zeiss. Travel the world as a thief, Percival rose to the top of Etruria's military. Because they're both really good and had like actual story arcs. <laughs> Bye, Lalem. Uh, a store disappeared without a trace. Hmm. I don't know. Klein became an Etrurian ambassador. Echidna returned to the Western Isles. I do like Echidna's design. If we're going by design alone, Echidna's my favorite. But, um... I think it's between Melody and Zeiss. I do remember really liking Dorothy, but she died early on. Um, Saul is also funny. But I think it's between Melody and Zeiss, and I couldn't decide between those two. Journeyed around the continent. Rutger died in Chapter 8X. Sorry, dude. You were, like, right at the end as well. I think losses do mean deaths, to be fair. So, worked to rebuild Ostia. Retired and enjoyed his life. Good job, Marcus. Even though you suck and I hate you. <laughs> um, God. Alan helped rebuild Foray. Ellen worked to rebuild Burn. She was from Burn? Oh yeah, she was, wasn't she? Huh. I forgot. Lot and Lou. Lot returned home to live happily and Lou built a magic school for orphans. Aww. Oh yeah, because Lou... I wonder if... Okay. Something that would have been really cool is if Lou, Chad, and Ray had like a, a triangle attack because they're all like related to each other, though Ray is actually really cool as well. Um, like they're all from the same orphanage, so if they had a triangle attack as well, that'd be pretty cool. But alas, that did not happen. But what can you do? Cecilia worked to rebuild Etruria. Sophia returned to Nabata. I wonder. If we had Sophia, because Sophia and Eden, to me, look kind of similar, but Garrett led a humble life, Douglas retired and lived peacefully. Uh, I'm just saying if Wendy died, I would have been using Douglas, but Wendy didn't die, so. Nime disappeared in the mountains. Juno continued to work as a Pegasus Knight. But yeah. What, I think there's like two more? Yeah, these guys continued to spread the word of St. Elamine, and Corral retired to a village in Bow. Never to be seen again. <laughs> uh... We did it! We're at the end. We finished Fire Emblem Binding Blade. And it went right back to that. So thank you so very much for watching. I'm actually just gonna do that right now so that it doesn't keep going through. Thank you so very much for watching the series. Um... If you liked this episode and if you like the series overall, thank you so very much for watching. If you didn't like this episode or if you didn't like the series overall, I am so very sorry. But once again, hopefully there is something on my channel you, you can enjoy. I hope you all have a very nice day. And this is the end of that. Goodbye.